there's absolutely no easy way of saying it is almost that time of the year so let's just not so today we are doing yet another wish video i know i did one a week ago but you guys seem to like them so i mean i'll keep them coming as long as you guys want to see them you'll be getting them okay so this wish video is going to be all about back to school items i know what you're thinking mia why are you reminding us um I don't know an easy way to say this, but let's just pretend I'm not reminding you. This is just a fun video. There's nothing. I'm not alluding to anything. Nothing's coming up. It's okay. We don't have to talk about it. As you can see by this Rubbermaid, I have been busy on Wish. Yes, I ordered this stuff around a month ago, and it was all school supplies. So, backpack, pencils pencil sharpeners, pencil cases. There's so much cute school supplies on Wish, it almost makes you kind of excited to get to use them. So I thought that would be fun to dive in. So I hope this video will be fun for you guys to watch and kind of put a happy spin on going back to school. I mean, it's almost impossible, but we'll try. Quick disclaimer, all these items are really cute in the picture, so I am fingers crossed to see if these are actually cute in real life, so. Let's get started. So I'm gonna go find all of the ads. Now there's definitely an order I should be opening these in because it would be like complementing the next product, but I just don't know how easy that'll be. Firstly, I think we just start off with the biggest, most expensive thing. I got this backpack and this is a transparent backpack. It was $16.15 before shipping. So very much a normal price for a backpack. You didn't get some kind of good steal because it was off of Wish. But I personally have been looking for a transparent backpack as a beach bag. So I thought this would be cool. So where is it? I think it's safe to assume that the biggest package is gonna be the backpack backpack because it's the biggest thing I bought and that is logic right there. I actually have a second angle. Hello, second angle. Uh, yeah, it's for the unboxing. Ooh, okay, so it came in pink and this turquoise color. I got it in this turquoise color even though I love pink. I just thought it would be fun to change it up a little. Okay, this is obviously the strap. It's like exactly what I wanted. I've been looking for a clear backpack for so long and excited. Let's see. Okay, there we go. We got the backpack all put together. Let's try it on. It feels like really decent quality actually. Here it is. Here's my clear backpack. How does it look? I think it looks kind of weird not having anything in it, but as we go throughout this video, I'll put my supplies in here. Okay, the next thing that I want to unbox is this clip file folder paper storage little duotang thing, and I actually bought this because I genuinely want one of these. I love writing notes for YouTube especially, so this looks pretty good, and I think I know exactly which one it came in because it was big and like had some padding to it, and I was like, what did I buy? that would have needed to be packaged like this. Honestly, lately Wish has been surprising me slash impressing me with their packaging. They bubble wrapped it so that it wouldn't break or bend, which is really nice and thoughtful to be honest. You guys always think it's so funny that I have a knife right in my drawer, but it's for opening things, that is all. You could double this as a pillow or a water flotation device while you enjoy summer while you can. It got kind of bent in the mail. Can you see that? It's got like this, there's a bend. The inside's nice though. And I just so happen to have some paper right here. I'll give it a thumbs up. I'm not gonna blame them. They bubble wrapped it. There's nothing they could have really done to save it. It just got bent. It's just how the world works. It's fine. So this ad really intrigued me. It is these 10 pieces rainbow pencils and they were $5. And as you can see, the lead is in all different rainbows. So I wanna see how these draw because I wanna see if it does it in rainbows. So that is this package right here. Let's see, <gasps> here they are. So there's two different styles. There is the stripe and then the curvy. They look exactly like the picture so far. They were expensive for pencils, but I mean, they're not a average pencil. Just like the ad said, there is 10 pencils. Wait a second, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, 10. Okay, let's take this one. Looking down, 
the barrel. It looks like there's blue, red, green, and yellow. Oh my goodness, it's actually looking so cool. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I love this. I, I hope it's picking up in the camera. I will show you in a minute. I'm gonna fill something in. For some reason, I just thought you would be resting your hand on one side so much that it wouldn't even make a difference. That is so cool. That's really cool, but I have a dilemma. My dilemma is one of my pencils just broke. It didn't even break all the way. One of my pencil crayons just broke. <gasps> Don't you hate, ow, what is going on? Don't you hate when your lead breaks? We all hate it. We've all been there. Never fear, I was prepared. Yes, I'll gladly accept my Oscar now. I knew this would happen, I knew a lead would break, so I took it upon myself to buy this $2 owl sharpener. Okay, this little owl is so cute in the packaging, I just hope he works. I just hope this little owl can put in some work. Let's see what we can do. There's two little holes. They both look the same size though, sometimes they're different size. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, Mr. Owl. He sharpened it to be very weird, actually. It kind of gnarled up the pencil lead. Kind of looks like it's gonna break immediately again, but we'll see. <sighs> For some reason, I don't feel like this is the sharpener's fault. I think the reason is these pencils are triangles. So that is something to know. If you get these rainbow pencils, they write really amazing, but then when you want to sharpen them, might be a little bit difficult because no sharpener, sharpeners want circular pencils, not triangles. Now, if only I had somewhere to store these pencils so that they didn't get any more broken, that would be amazing. So, I actually have one. I'm so stupid. I saw this ad and I knew instantly that I wanted to try it and see if it was real hollow. I'm helping Christine out today. This is a cute pencil case cosmetic bag and it doesn't even claim to be holographic, but as you can see by the picture, it's very much holographic, so I ordered the silver one. So we will see. Where is it? Okay. Okay. Can you see that? Sometimes it's hard to show with filming lights, something that's actually holographic, but I think you can see it. <gasps> that is so pretty. I'm actually really surprised that this is real hollow. For some reason, I thought I would pull it out and it would be silver, and this was like $4, so that's pretty nice, and I don't think hardly anyone in school will have this. And just in case you guys were wondering, because you never know, yes, normal size pencils do fit. Freaking love this so far. This is definitely my favorite thing. I love it. I'm gonna put it right here. There you go. But my pencil case doesn't feel quite full enough, so I decided not everybody likes pencils. I should get some pens. So these are a four-piece invisible ink pen. So basically it draws an invisible ink and then you shine a light on it. And I sure hope it came with batteries because I definitely don't have any of these little batteries. Oh my goodness, I didn't even think of that. But okay, so this is pretty cool and fun. You can send your friends secret messages, which when I was in high school, if I could do that, that would have been so freaking fun. I definitely would have done that um, because I used to write messages and then send it. And then sometimes the paper would like fall on the floor and then the next class you'll see someone pick it up and it's like embarrassing. So anyways, and this was actually free. Okay, here are the pens. Four pieces just like they said. All of them have these little pull tabs to them. So hopefully, oh, I think it does have batteries in it. Yes, okay. Grab our paper, grab a new sheet. Actually, I'll flip this sheet over. I don't want to be wasteful. I think I'm going to take the purple one. I don't know if it writes in the color of ink, but let's pull the tab. Like this little white tip. Oh my goodness. As I write, it's like disappearing instantly. I can kind of see where the page is wet and then it just goes away. Okay, how do I shine the light? <gasps> oh my gosh, that is so fun. You cannot tell that it's on here. I'm going to shut my ring light off so you can see. Wow, this looks so bad now that my ring light's off, but okay. I wrote hollow. 
and then a broken heart. The light's a little janky, but it's working. Definitely, if I was in high school or elementary school again, this would be something so fun to play around with. And these were free. I think the shipping was like $5, so of course they did cost money, but they were just over a dollar each. And I don't know, this one really hits me hard because I love writing notes and little secret notes. I think these would be so fun. Into my pencil case to go. You know what I just realized? I made a huge mistake on this page where I said I love you and you all are perfect. I made a humongous little mistake that I just need to fix now. So perfectly enough, I have this cute melt correction tape material stationery. It was $1.90 and this, it's like basically white out, but it's shaped like milk and that was just the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know about you. Here they are. Oh my goodness. These are so freaking adorable. I have a white milk and a banana milk. I've never ever had banana milk. I cannot believe these were $1.90. I'm pretty sure normal whiteout is around that much. So to get one in the shape of a milk carton, why do I think that is so adorable? It's like the tape whiteout. So, okay. I want to get rid of this eye. Oh my gosh, and it actually works! It's cute, and it works. 100% huge thumbs up for these. I think this is so cute. Oh my goodness, I just realized. I probably said cute a thousand times. Once again, I'm gonna put them in my pencil case. A lot is fitting in my pencil case, might I add. Uh, I'm actually gonna go to this because this was a disappointment and I haven't even opened it yet. This is a file document bag pouch, bills folder card holder organized fastener. It has four stars and it was free. And I actually was like, oh good, I'll put all my receipts in here so when I do my taxes. Did anybody notice the rhyme I just did? You've probably already forgot about it. Bills folder card holder. Bills folder card holder. Older. I don't know. Am I the only one who thought this was gonna be bigger based on the picture? This big, but here it is. So, whatever. Maybe that was my fault. It probably was. Inside, it's got. It's like an accordion, pretty much. That is this. <laughs> okay. Next thing is something that when I was in high school, I loved so much, and that is little post-it notes. These were. How much were these? Four dollars before shipping, but they're really nice. And here they are. They are really cute in real life as well. I really liked having these for in textbooks, especially because obviously in textbooks, unless you're in university or college or whatever, you can't write in them. So it's easy to lose your page and whatnot. Say this page is really important and I need to study it. I'd write study right there. I take the post-it note, find my page, and then see, even after you close your page, you can still see the little study tab. Usually post-it notes wouldn't come in like this gray, but that's really nice. Why am I, why am I so excited over post-it notes? It's because I think I'll get a lot of use out of them, so. Next one, I'm having a little bit of trouble relating this one to something, because all of these kind of went together. These are flamingo bookmarks for planning. So once again, kind of the same as post-it notes, but more just for marking your page. And they're really super cute and they look pretty straightforward. These are so adorable. Let's see what it looks like. So say I want to mark this page. It's very important. Must study. Just stick my little flamingo in there. I seriously love the way this looks. I think it's super fun. I feel like you can make a lot of things in school more fun just by getting cute little things like this. Last item, these look like fun. This is more like an elementary thing, but I think it would be cool to whip these out in high school. So they were free. They are these flexible pens and they sent a whole bunch. Got a full rainbow right here. So I'm gonna see how they write first off. Oh no, this is gonna be difficult to write with. Oh no, I can't get any grasp on it. Okay, let's see. Hi. Oh my goodness, I swear that's not how I usually write. Let me try a different color. Does it write in the color of the pen? Oh no, I think it all is blue. I wonder how much ink these have in them because it doesn't look like there would be a lot. Looks like that much would be ink. 
but I mean even that would last quite a while and you have quite a few. Sitting in class and you realize you forgot your pen and then you remember it's on your wrist. Same. Okay, so here is all of my school supplies from Wish. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it was a lot of fun to film. I didn't realize how much I actually liked cute school supplies till I did this video because like I said, in high school, in elementary, I didn't have fun school supplies. Actually, I think in grade five, I had fun school supplies, like cute, like printed erasers. But that was pretty much the only year after that I didn't think it was important. But yeah, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button and request what you want to see next. All joking aside, if you guys are going into elementary school, high school, college, classes in general, anything you guys are going into, I hope you can have a really good year in it and that it won't be too, too difficult it'll pay off. And I really want to do a giveaway of some back to school stuff or just stuff in general. So comment down below if there's something you guys want because I want to do a giveaway very, very soon. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!